welcome back children let's continue with chapter 5 minerals and today i'm going to explain metallic minerals like iron ore bauxite manganese copper and non metallic minerals which includes limestone mica and mineral fuels like coal and petroleum natural gas and then conservation of minerals as per the revised syllabus now let's focus on the mineral distribution around the world given below is a list of various minerals distributed in different places around the world the first one that is we'll focus on distribution of metallic minerals iron ore iron ore is the foundation of manufacturing of iron and steel the iron that is obtained from iron ore is the sixth most abundant element in the universe major producers of iron ore are china japan and russia next one is copper copper is a ductile metal with very high thermal and electrical conductivity it is not freely available in nature copper reserves are concentrated in the following five regions of the world namely southern central africa chile western usa kazakhstan and the sudbury district in canada next one is bauxite bauxite is the main ore of aluminum and its major producers in the world are usa china india brazil and australia next is manganese manganese is used in the production of steel the important producers of manganese are russia india south africa ghana brazil and usa now we'll focus on the distribution of non metallic minerals around the world the first one petroleum and natural gas petroleum and natural gas are formed from the remains of prehistoric plants that's why they are known as fossil fuels now what is the meaning of fossil fuels a natural fuel such as coal or gas formed in the geological past from the remains of living organisms natural gas is produced when plants are buried deep beneath the earth under the influence of great heat and pressure higher biomass and heat combination produce natural gas now what is the meaning of biomass the total quantity or weight of organisms in a given area or volume around 40 to 45% of the world's petroleum reserves are found in the middle east region followed by canada usa latin america russia kazakhstan and india natural gas regions are mostly found along with petroleum their prime producers are countries in the middle east russia and the countries of the former soviet union and egypt next one is mica mica is an important non metallic mineral which is used in the cosmetic and beauty industry ink and paints china canada and the usa are the main producers of mica next one is limestone china usa and the european countries have rich deposits of limestone it is commonly used in architecture to achieve a rich finish and the last one is coal china again is the largest producer of coal in the world that is about 47% of coal is produced in china it is followed by the usa and australia now we'll focus on the deposits of metallic minerals in 
India. The first one, iron ore. India has the maximum number of iron ore reserves in Asia. They are mainly distributed in peninsular India. Iron ore mines can be found in the districts of Belleri, Bastar, Singhbhum, Noamundi, Dalton Ganj and Hazari Bagh. Next one is manganese. After Zimbabwe, India has the largest manganese reserves. Manganese reserves in India are found in Odisha, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra. And Maharashtra is the leading producer of manganese in India. Next metallic mineral in India is copper. A major share of copper production in India comes from Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Jharkhand. Next one is bauxite. The major bauxite producing states in India are Odisha, Jharkhand, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh and Goa in a descending order of importance. Odisha is the largest producer of bauxite in the country and it contributes about one third of the total production. Now we'll focus on the deposits of non-metallic minerals in India. The first one, mica. India contributes about 60% of the world's total production of mica. Andhra Pradesh is the largest mica producing state of India. Next one is petroleum and natural gas. In India, the first petroleum well was dug in Assam. After that in Gujarat and then the offshore oil field Mumbai High was discovered. Presently, natural gas is obtained from Assam, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Gujarat. Next non-metallic mineral in India is limestone. Limestone is found in Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, and Karnataka in India. In common parlance, it is known as Sangmarmar in India. And the last one is coal. India is the fifth largest coal producer. Rani Ganj, Jharia, Dalton Ganj and Bokaro are some of the areas where coal is found. Tamil Nadu also has a big reserve of coal. Now we'll focus on the different variety of coal. Bituminous coal is the best quality or the best variety of coal. And lignite coal are found in India. It is a big source of income for India. Now let us focus on the conservation of minerals. Minerals are formed naturally but at an extremely slow pace. Therefore, they are categorized as non-renewable resources. Now, what is the meaning of non-renewable resources? Resources that may not be replenished by nature or take millions of years to be formed again are known as non-renewable resources. And these non-renewable resources are limited and Finite. That means they are being consumed at a very fast pace and are not being provided with the sufficient time to be replenished. These minerals take thousands of years to form and hence it is necessary to conserve them. The following are some ways through which minerals can be conserved. The first one. We should use renewable sources of energy like hydroelectricity and solar power to conserve mineral resources such as coal. Now, what is the meaning of renewable sources of energy? 
resources that are renewed or replenished by nature over a short period of time. Next one is scarce minerals like gold, silver and copper can be saved by substituting them with minerals which are cheaper and found in abundance. And the last one is minerals can be conserved by bringing efficient mining technology. With this, I come to the end of this chapter. Thank you.